Hey guys, do a dreamer. Uh, excuse the uh, markings on the wall. That was done by my son. He was playing with my wife's uh, deodorant and stuff like that. So I had to go postal with it and stuff like that. Two year olds. But anyway, um, I want to give you my quick thoughts on WWE's decision to pull the plug on Daniel Bryan being part of the Wyatt family. Now, I have some mixed feelings about it. I felt that they could have done a lot. They could have. Um, milk this a little bit longer with this story because I was actually really into this storyline with Dan Bryan being the reluctant um, member of the Wyatt family even though he willfully joined with them and stuff like that but I knew the purpose of it was going to make people sympathize for Dan Bryan and I was right the whole time he come out there people weren't booing him they kept on cheering for him because they said yes 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 and all that stuff um, the way how they ended it at Raw I thought was very poetic because in a way throughout this whole feud we re never really saw a one-on-one -on -one match with Bray Wyatt and Daniel Bryan yet so I think this is a good seed planter for the rumble that this is the match that's going to take place hopefully you know but at the same time like I said I feel that they cut this way too short <laughs> two weeks and stuff I wish it would have at least have a month or something like that like maybe after Royal Rumble uh, with their next pay-per-view or something like that that's how I feel um, I'm not too upset with it because it, it didn't surprise me I mean they did the same thing when uh, CM Punk left the company with the WWE Championship that he could have milked that thing and could have done the same thing what TNA was doing with AJ Styles and stuff like that that's me but at the same time I'm not a booker I don't know uh, there's always a method to their madness and the way I saw it was you know it did the job you know the crowd was so hot and, and it was one of the first times that I actually saw the crowd actually in unison say yes 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 that's not in this hometown I mean I've heard it before but this is kind of like the same first time that I've seen the crowd really shouted yes in unison and stuff like that and that we're so happy that Dan Bryan is no longer part of the Wyatt family so so the payoff was good I think it was a little bit too short but the payoff was there and I think it did the job right and this is actually gonna catapult again once again it's catapulting Daniel Bryan to being a huge baby face and and I was right about that so like I said too short but did the job you know what I mean so we just have to see what happens for the Royal Rumble and I'm hoping that my prediction is right that he's gonna face Shawn Michaels at Wrestlemania because I really want to see that match even though Shawn Michaels said I'm not gonna do it and stuff like that but I really hope this is going to happen if not then you might see him go after the WWE Championship again who knows sky's the limit right now for Daniel Bryan alright so uh, tell me what you guys think about um, Daniel Bryan not being part of the Wyatt family. Do you think it was too short? Do you think it was just right? Feel free to comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. See you guys later.